Hey guys, Mark and Beck from Wild Family Travel. Today we're in northeast Victoria and we are exploring the Silo Art Trail. The Silo Art Trail is really popular in Victoria. There are three that we know of, but there's always ones being added to it. This guy here, we're not sure how to pronounce his last name. It's either Devate or Devate. So Jimmy Devate has painted a few along this one. Um, this one's the Nankin Kestrel. So, and it's called Rusty. These two are the first two silos that you run into on the Northeast Art Trail. This silo here actually depicts Millie. She's a barking owl who lives at Hillsville Sanctuary just near Melbourne. The second silo here is Millie's habitat. So in the same area that Millie the barking owl's in, Another silo has three Clydesdales on it. There's Sam, Clem and Banjo. And they pay homage to how important the Clydesdale was in this area. They are the lifeblood of the area, cutting wheat, wool, everything that farmers needed to get to the trains. Silo artwork in Devonish is in tribute to the Light Horseman in this one. It was painted by Cam Scale in 2019. It was unveiled on Anzac Day. And the two big ones are on concrete. They're depicting the first nurse in World War I and a modern day medic. It's to recognise the changing um, roles of women in society and in the military as well. And if you have a look here, they're all little hand knitted poppies. So I would say people from around the district have made their own and they've made a little artwork out of it as well. St. James. These silo art, uh, the first one was painted and it's in tribute to Mr. Coles. He opened his first Coles store here in St. James. The other ones are the shearers, the Clydesdales on the end, and then the transition into machinery, into vehicles. So St. James was one of the last, I think one of the last train stops or train stations in this area so everything had to be transported to and from here so the Clydesdales were so important to the transport and then once they became obsolete unfortunately the mechanical vehicles came in So we've reached the last stop on the northeastern Victorian Silo Art Trail. Here we are in Tungamar. Now this silo complex was the very first one painted in the trail back in 2018. It was painted by a Western Australian street artist who's depicted some of the birds of the region. As you can see, galahs, kookaburras, storks. So I highly recommend that you come and do the trail if you're up this way. We just happen to be going from Melbourne direction towards Albury and it's really only just off the edge of the main road so well worth it might take you an hour you can stop 15 minutes in each place have a look have a walk take some photos grab a drink have a rest um, northeast victorian art silo trail is certainly a winner <laughs>